What do we cry when we say a man with a stick? What's on the end of the stick, Rick? What's on the end of that stick indeed? Are you going to reveal? I doubt if you are really, are you? You are going to reveal? <laughs> well, let's have a look. Well, Vic, thanks for asking. On the end of my stick today is a little camera module out of an old laptop. Now, what use could that be, do you think? You can see it on my laptop screen there, and I can use it, for example, to check whether things have been cut on my laser cutter or not. And you'll find many, many other uses for it. For example, with an OTG adapter, I can plug it into my phone and now be able to inspect my work wherever I want to be. It's a very simple thing to knock up, as I will show you now. This then is a typical module out of a laptop. If you're unsure of how to take the screen apart to get these little guys out, uh, there's an old video of mine, but still relevant up there that you can follow. It's not a difficult process. As I work on laptops, I have a number of them around which didn't make it through surgery. That's not a problem for me. I'm sure that if you ask in your local computer repair shop, they'll have a bunch of old ones that they can let you have for very little or nothing. All we need to do is to identify the wiring here, which is very simple. It's only four wires although they are tiny, 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 do not make the assumption that red and black is always going to be positive and negative, because often it isn't. I'll show you in the next clip how to identify those cables. Looking at the connections to the little laptop camera then, we can see four connections. Therefore, for USB, it's fairly safe to assume Perhaps the red will be positive. The twisted pair here will be the data positive and negative, and this will be ground or negative. It's best to buzz things out and just make sure of our connections. Looking along the board, we have a nice ground connection at this end. Let me probe on that and then onto the ye yellow wire. And indeed, that is ground. The positive is going to be a little bit more tricky. We can see an inductor here. What we're really looking for is a voltage regulator. This will be the control chip for the camera, the camera itself, obviously. This, if I turn the board, you can see 25L512. Clearly, this is going to be a memory device. We have something called Q1, which most likely a transistor. But here at the end of the board, U5, this is going to be our regulator, I would suggest. Our memory chip is fed from 3.3 volts on this pin here. If I then probe on the 3.3 volts, and then on our little regulator, I'm getting a connection there, so this should be the plus 3.3 volt output of the regulator. The input, I would guess, would be here. So let me probe on there and then flip back to the other end of the board for the red connection, which is there. Just a little sanity check and obviously worth keeping the cable as well as the connector. It's a five-way connector, but only four of the connections are used there for USB. All is good then. We can now go ahead and wire this up and see if it's going to be recognized by the computer. The important ones clearly are going to be the power supply. If we get our data positive and negative mixed up, the only bad thing that's going to happen is that the camera will not be recognized over USB. Let's go ahead then and connect this to a USB plug. Having wired your USB cable, it's now simply a matter of testing it out. As I mentioned before, if you get the data wires the wrong way around, the only thing that will happen is that the device will not be recognized. I'm going to go ahead now and plug it into my PC. I didn't hear the 
announcement bongs to say that it has been detected. Easy way to try that is to go and find your PC icon, right mouse click and manage, and then look in the device manager. And we can see cameras at the top here, and that's our camera. We should be then good to go. There are many, many apps. There's a built-in one for Windows, the camera app, and as we can see now, that's working as expected. I'm sure you'll find many uses for this little gadget. And many thanks for watching.